now. Hello, Craig. I'm trying to be my fucking phone that is isn't for Hold on. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're the pizza here. Pizza here. Uh. Alright, so, um, uh, last session. In second, getting my mouse. A good idea to, uh, go off into the woods and find out what's making these weird battling sounds. We found a orc named Kel. Mm -hmm. A half-orc, I say. A half-orc named Kel. Uh, we managed to kill a hill giant that uh, th uh, this half-orc was battling. And uh, we and decided... three friends we came by and suggested a gangbang. Yeah. We did not oblige. Um, um, and we decided it would be best if we brought uh, Kel along with us since he seemed to be wanting an adventure and needed more people to fight off whatever dangers might occur to these people. Apparently, mm -hmm. um, there were more hill giants uh, that attacked this clearing. And when they found the body, they got angry at you. So everyone split off into different directions. Robert head towards the village to hide from the uh, hill giants. Uh, Kel and Ocean decided to bring the hill giants towards the orc fortress. Um, they uh, abolished that. Um, and then they ran away back to the cave. Um, Arzor and uh, Arzor and Verum and uh, Jeremiah decided to hitch a ride on the dire wolf in order to get as far away from this as possible to warn the cave people, uh, the people inside the cave. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, there was a hill giant following them, and. Uh, some unfortunate things happened as they were trying to all escape following the dire wolf towards this unknown location. And uh, one of our own party members had a, uh, a uh, death occur mm -hmm. uh, in their family uh, during this Hilltown style. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, mm -hmm. Getting chomped by hill giants suddenly, Vera that was uh, took five of the five of the water marbles, sent it down the hill giant's throat. The jaw uh, ruptured off, and the hill giant uh, fell a few uh, moments later. Everyone was able to uh, gather their things and head towards wherever this dire wolf is heading. There seems to be the edge of this Feywild crossing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Entering inside, uh, we were met by a elven village. And from what it looks like, Robert is not with us. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. He seemed to uh, went that direction and just never came back. Actually, pretty convenient. He's not here for now. Whenever he comes back, his friend will decide to get him. Oh. Yep. Well, All right. That was fucked. All right. So we ended last time. Ocean and Arzor kind of talking and chilling, and in the distance, they noticed this giant owl hovering in the air on a huge, uh, thick branch. Um, a giant fox, and uh. The fox, the golden fox, seems to be uh, kind of walking around the tree base. I'm standing on the ground. I don't have any remains to, to bury. The sky. Okay. I don't have any remains to bury, so there's no real ceremony that I can do. I just kind mm. of take a moment to think to myself. <laughs> I'm thinking. Or kind of thinking, kind of saying out loud. She hated how I broke the rules. She used to say, Sweetie, you need to behave. If you aren't kind to the people around you, someday one of them will just decide to eat you right up. 
and I think to myself, how did that work out for you, huh? I had okay. complicated right. feelings about her, my mom, Belfira, Shenris. She let someone like me stay in the house, even when I was slow in my studies and I couldn't really do anything to contribute besides taking things that weren't mine. Even though I'm just a petty thief, even though I know it'll never be enough, I still had to do my best to fight for her. That's what, just, that's what you're supposed to do, right? But I couldn't do it. I, I guess it just doesn't matter, though, does it? It just doesn't matter. I don't care. I just don't care. And I... Stand there, not caring. I. I. The wolf slowly walks off uh, as you watch it walk on. You can notice the owl's completely gone. By this Actually, point, Ocean is looking at that shit. And, like, it's in the forest, right? Yeah. It's off the path. Ocean looks at it, looks back at, like, everyone else, looks back at it. I do not have the time, currently. In a bit. And she just points a finger, in a bit. And then just keeps walking. I'm just... Uh... What is Varum vibing to right now? So, Varum... What? What do you want to be doing right now at this moment? So we discussed with the Elven people that they would meet, uh, that we would meet with their uh, chief. Mm -hmm. uh, Varen is uh, currently uh, looking at flowers while walking uh, with the group to go meet the chief. Ooh, looking for flowers. flowers that look like the uh, flower on the wall symbol. Pretty flowers. Flowers pretty. Make <laughs> a perception team. Okay. I'm pretty sure Varen has high wisdom. Okay, he has 14. Oh. Pathetic. Anyway. Okay, that is a 12. Well, um, you don't find any sort of similar to the ones that are on here. Really? Yeah. Might be a human world flower, not a fae flower. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Also, do I do I notice the uh, owl? Um. Actually, it's only ocean. what? It's only ocean who notices it. Oh, okay. You probably saw him literally just raise his arm and point at that switch. I'll deal with you later, and then just waving his hand away at it, and then just going back on the trail. At the very oh. least. Right, so, mm -hmm. uh, the elven woman leads you, uh, down this mm -hmm. very narrow path, down through the, uh, down through, uh, the woods. Uh, so are you taking all the people with you, or? I'm going to... Hmm. Or leave them there and then talk to the chief. Yeah, I think... Hmm. Hey, Varum? 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 Hmm. Uh... If we're gonna, like, go forward and talk to Chiefty Boy, see what he has to say about them possibly staying here, it's, I'm pretty sure, I think we both know it's not the safest place here. It's really, it's, it's really all that's safest here. But I'm thinking we go ahead, have them sit here and rest because the day's been fucking stressful, we go ahead, talk to the Chiefty Boy, see if he can provide any kind of relief for these people, see if they can maybe yeah. stay a day or two with, like, somewhere to sleep, and then either get out, or if some people are like, yeah, I would like to personally stay, then they can stay. You know? But we're gonna have to warn them that the wild ain't a fun fucking place. It's, it's got, well, it's a fun place until it becomes too much fun, and then you die of exhaustion, you know? I know, you probably don't want you me around. Want you on the beat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just fucking say, Verum? Uh, I did not say that in character. Out of character, yes. Okay, okay, okay. 
<sighs> so, thoughts? So, anyone? I believe it'd be best if we keep them. It is, as I would say, not safe in any perceivable way. Because, uh, mm-hmm. this it place... Really, it really it doesn't matter what I have to say on this. It does. Just, Do you not care for the people you've been stealing from? I guess. All right, um... I don't know. I feel like you guys know more about this. I do not. Possibly, but I asked for input. Taking care of lives is not my thing. Taking care of lives is partially my thing. That's partially but, his thing. Considering the fact that you're the one who's actually, like, been around them more, I'm the one who's been living in the woods. So, okay, okay. Got an idea. You tell me. What's the lay of the land of the people? I don't know them personally. I literally don't. The closest thing I have is a few people in the guards. Some dude named Jerry, some dude named Tom. And that was pretty much just making sure that the fucking entire town didn't get blown over in a storm, alright? So. If you're feeling up to it, Arizor. I would appreciate. If you could collect any kind of tips. With helping the general mass here. What's the vibe? What's the feelings? Yeah. And that's it. I'm not going to ask you too much, but... Listen, if it, will be, if it will be helpful to you, I'll do it. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I also understand it's been a tough day. And believe me when I say I know what that's like, okay? No, it's okay. I don't, I don't want to... Hey. Today's been a giant disaster. Out of character, I'm fucking wheezing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Alright, anyway. <laughs> fucking... <clears throat> okay. Either way, you've been through a lot today, and that's a toll on anyone. Look, let's you just do this. Hmm? Let's just do this. Hmm. Yeah, let's just... Okay. So, who is the... Who do you think has info on this? On this area? Chieftain. A botany person. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows flowers, probably. So, as you guys are walking to the chief, as the woman bring you Mm -hmm. to the chief, do you want to bring all the people with you or keep them? Yeah, no, I... I, That's what what I'm fucking asking them, basically. Do we want them... That's that's okay. my current plan. Any thoughts on that? And do we want to keep them with us? Because I'm thinking okay. we have them all have a sit down here, take a break. Today's been stressful for everyone. My character is voting uh, uh, keep them out of this place because this place reeks magical fuckery. That's fair. However, an issue is also time. You enter this place, it could be an hour when you leave after you've been here for like a minute. If we have them stand out there, we don't know how much time is going to be. This place reeks of magical fuckery. Here's the important thing. Don't get strung up in plans. Don't get strung up in quests. The moment you set foot in here, it's going to be fun. There's a lot to do. However, we have too much. You get very tired. We're not built for the constant action of this place. Okay? I don't know a ton about the Feywild. I know more than the average person, at the very least. I feel like I've been here. That's... I do not like this place. Okay, out of character, if I wanted to get info on somebody, what would I roll for that? Insight? Uh... There's, there's you would like to called. use the DM's thing to talk to the DM through messages and be quiet about it if you want to do it secretly. That's a fair that's a fair thing you can do as well. Yes. It's uh it's something I do very often of I would like to roll sleight of hand. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make a bomb. I would like to make a bomb and put it Hello? in my friend's pants. Fucking in one campaign that's just mod okay. Yeah, if you want to do something in secret, just DM me. Yeah. And if yeah. you want to have, okay. like, in-character convos with other people, DM them. Like, if you want to hand... 
Um, okay. Hmm. So, uh, final decision. Do we keep them here, yeah. or do we bring them along? That's one vote for get them out of here. Well, you're Varum, not really leaving. Have... You're just going to talk to the key. Yeah, I think... Varum, I think we have them have a sit-down. Once we get close to town, that way they're going to be safe. Because time is fucky. That's the main thing. Time is fucky. Yeah. We don't know if we'll be able not... to come back to them if we leave them out there. Yeah. The thing we should focus on is we need to keep on track. Do not get sidetracked or else we will be lost forever. Primarily, yes. Yes. The important thing? Okay, okay. Plan. Plan. Stated plan. We're going to bring them there. Have them have a sit down once we get to the town. Then, we are going to talk to the chief, see if he can offer relief for a day or two, and then leave. And if certain people want to stay, that is their choice. Okay? I Agreed? think we shouldn't go for it's, that. Dead. Here's the thing. I'm not going to promote it. Even I know it's dangerous, but I'm going to give them the caution. Because currently no one here has homes, and if they want to make that choice, that's on them, you know? I'm not their babysitter. Kay. I want what's best for them. If they see that as their own best, sure. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A day or two, we could lose. We could easily lose track of time and be stuck here for five years. I yeah, say and? we get out of here immediate as possible. We need to stay focused, and the focus should be get out. At the same so, time, what will be our focus, then? Get out. Okay, and then what? Reestablish the place. I feel, as, I feel as if the orcs are probably going to become less of an issue as time goes on. Considering the fact that they just got ransacked by at least one hill giant, maybe two if there was a follow-up, yes. Yes, I feel as if However, the... However, currently the we do not have a sustainable plan. My plan is not to stay here forever. I don't want that. Yes. That's way too dangerous. However, one, I will admit, okay. these people seem to know something of my mother. Interested in that. Of course I am. Secondly, that's, second, that is interesting. we do not need to stay here forever. But we do need people to have food in their stomachs and a place to sleep without dying in the middle of the night. Yes, that is important, but this place this is more dangerous that. than the outside world. It very much is, and I understand that. You could literally die because of a giant fucking snail. I... Mm, it is a bad place to stay whenever you don't know enough about it. But, I don't see issue in coming here, walking in, seeing if the chieftain can, can provide relief, and then leaving. If he can, then sure, let them stay for a day, maybe two at most, or, at the very least, provide some food. And then leave. There's a chance that we might lose every single one of them if we let them stay for a day. And there's okay. a chance of time fuckery where we are not here for just a day. Mm. That was very dangerous. It is very dangerous, but the main places it's very dangerous are away from the major cities. You're alright, you're alright. Otherwise, but... everyone would be dead by now, you know? There wouldn't be people to guide us. Yes, but the major cities is where I'm guessing uh, where most of the fun happens, and that's where people lose track of time. That is a true statement. However, the main thing, give them a warning. We're not messing with ants here or small children that will that'll be convinced. Some people are stupid, straight up. But everyone's tired. Give them a fair warning. I understand that people lose track of time, and I understand that once you start going, it becomes difficult to stop, and then you don't, and then you die. I do know to an extent how this place works. However, weighing the options, this is what I see, though I understand your, vo your point of view. I'm going to let you people decide. Okay. In that case, yeah, with I think... around 150 people behind you, you walk mm -hmm. down this narrow path mm -hmm. uh, towards the central part of this 
on Elven Wood Elf City. Um, the uh, two Elven women come up to you. Uh, so, what are your names? Ocean, Ocean Alaris, as we, as we said, that is... Um, Big Nightman, I'm... made of iron. Do you want to say your name? Because that's your choice. Uh, I'm gonna ask them a quick question. I'm just gonna take off the mask slowly from grabbing it from the bottom. Do you recognize this face? Uh, so you're lifting the mask off? Lifting the mask. Menacingly? They uh, slowly. They look at you. Um, kind of puzzled for a second. Um, no, I don't think you remind me of something. But I'm not sure what it is. I see. I'm just trying to search for an origin of myself. I am, like many things, a war machine from the past. Simply ciphering through the past is not good enough. But the name is Vera Miles. He then gestures to Arizor, who's kind of still hunched over. Yeah, she's, and like, she's like, she's like I'm, down the path. I'm looking at a frog. Yeah. So That's... you see her finally, Arzor finally, like, runs mm -hmm. up to you, passing all, like, 150 people, going through the tree line uh, to get towards you. Um, finally, she reaches you. She's, like, panting. This Guys, one? guys, okay, so yeah. I got distracted by animals, it's but... Fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I do that, too. I, I, I definitely I, relate. I hey. found out hey. that... Mm -hmm. From somebody that the the I yes. kind of pause for a while. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Ocean. Mhm. Mm the chief of the village is. All right. So. This... Are you going to say the things, or...? The... The chief of the village is an elf that can shapeshift, and so are you. First off, I'm not an elf. Second off, okay. Anyway... Let's just... Okay. Hello, this Wait is Azor. You have our names now. Let's they get could going. Turn into animals, which a lot of people are able can. to do that via magic or druidic powers, and not a lot of them. I don't know what it same. means. I just heard it. Okay. You have made a discovery. Thank you for telling me. Good for you. Yes, I the appreciate woman it. Woman, look over. Oh yes, he is a very trained uh, in the druidic arts. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I, if he could tell me anything. To be a druid is to continue what, the cycle of life and death. Where do you death. come from? I'm assuming the material. Funny animal. Drugs. Yeah. I've only well, been there a I couple come from times. a small town. Well, I say small town. I didn't particularly come from the town. That's semantics. Apologies. Basically, town got ransacked by orcs. Then another town got ransacked by orcs. We came from the other town. We were visiting the first town. Now we're basically trying to make sure these people don't die of starvation. We're planning to ask if we can get any, like, relief for them. Some food, maybe a place to stay for a night. Time is fucky when it comes to the Feywild, and I'm not so sure saying, saying here is, like, a good idea, but you know. Unless what, you can what advise... What region is the town in? I've only I... looked at very few oh, maps um, of the further end, so I... Um, from, let's see. But I think... It's... In terms of big maps, I haven't looked at them either. I only know the basis of my forest. It's, uh... So you, you know the, you know the country, and it's in Hasla. Yeah, it's in Haslow. Um, Haslow, really? Haslow, near the last shore. Last time, actually, last time we had a portal open, it was near our village. Anyways, it was uh, quite up north. Uh, from Haslow, I believe it was the Zand Empire. Truth be told, I have no clue what that means. Anyway, sorry to say. 
Very I didn't see that old bastard. But to a uh, to your world. Oh sure. He uh fucking verum 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 verum. Yes. Get the map out of your chest. Hand it over. Okay, I do that. Okay, okay thank sure you. Just like open this out. shit. I want everyone to be able to see it. So someone just turn the phone. Okay. I capable of actually I can just open that on Discord. Easy me. Let's let's see. Kapuski. It opened the thing and then it didn't. There we go. Uh open it in Chrome. Nah, it's fine. I got it. Uh, hey, get Smith tools. If I had it to could pop. zoom out, that'd be nice. Oh well. Rolf. It might take a little to load. No, that's fine. It's already loaded. All right, we came in Haslow. We were near Shipstead for a little bit, kind of points down by this river. Then we went up a bit towards this river, and that's where our place was. Tagra. Hmm. Your and map Shipstead has got changed. raided, and then Tagra got raided. Wait, huh? Your map has that? changed from the last time I've seen it. I suppose so. I would don't. I wouldn't personally know. Wasn't taught much history. I was more just surrounding the, area. The last place uh, we saw, uh, we saw Portalex was. She points to um. Where is it? She points to uh the Geo. So she points to the North Island of Jewel. Um, so, uh, she says that place, uh, and the majority of this place was actually ruled by the Zand Empire. Interesting. Interesting. I would have what? no clue whether or not that's still standing, considering the time fucking It is, it's on the left, but it's a small island. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. She, okay, so looks around, what? What year is this in the material world? Uh, I think it's Pal, what year is it? Uh, we have a channel called Hashtag Calendar. <laughs> we do. I am retarded. Okay, it is... Third week of the month. It is currently uh, 1350, if I remember correctly. 15, 15? I think maybe time. it's Tuesday. I, yeah, it might. I think it's uh, th yeah, third of the month, I think. Yeah. Or whatever tell you that is day, translated a, into common. It's been, a, it's been a long number of them, to be frank. 1350. Last time we had a portal, it was... I'm gonna cool. be honest, I never learned the days and the weeks. To be honest, same. Uh, war machines and fucking gutter rats. Eight. Got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dragborn entered our world the last time. Uh, last time we saw a that was third plane, which was I don't know. way back. The day told us it was two hundred. Yeah, that. So, even I know that's a long fucking time ago. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, considering how time fuckery works in this place, do you think it would be safe enough for these people to stay maybe a night? A night? What would hmm? be the issue? What? What well, What would be the issue with them staying a night? Do you mean in terms of safety, or? In terms of safety, I intended to have them sit down by the uh, village, I that think, way they have a safety. I think that yeah, what he my means is that is... if a night passes, maybe there'll be like three months that pass in the material world. Yeah, the time fuckery. That's what I mean. Thank that would help me. That's the issue. We're not trying to suddenly come out of this place to an entirely different world, you know? I, I, I understand. But I mean, time changes all the time between the material plane and the Feywild, so some days no real prediction. one second is a minute, sometimes a minute yes. is a second. 
It's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I. Okay. You know what? There's there... no real way to tell. That's until... fair. Until you okay. Mean. You know what? The terms of Aram. Would you like to like? How about we just make an announcement if that's the case, and then we'll see if we want to get relief from this place since we're already here, and we'll have them weigh the options. You know? Alright, so as, so as you cross this path, in the very distance you notice the end of this uh, forest trail, and what seems to be um, these wooden houses made out of this very um, greenish wood and some black wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're right. we're near the uh, we're near the center of the village. You cross mm -hmm. the main path and you are inside uh, this huge forest clearing with uh, multiple houses. Um, in the distance, you can see this tower standing up uh, completely uh, upwards. Um, tower. A tower, multiple houses. Uh, as you walk with the two female elves, what elves? Um, you notice uh, a marketplace. Um, what seems to be a uh, resting spot uh, with like a little campfire in the middle. Uh, you mm -hmm. notice uh, a, a couple merchants selling meat, food. Uh, all you. of them stranger races than you're used to from the normal. Yeah, um, Barrel's just gonna try to ignore them as best as he can as he walks towards the tower. Um, you also notice in the uh, market, you notice uh, these black-looking panthers with, uh, like, maybe three of them, these types of creatures, uh, black panthers, with these long squid tentacles peering from uh, their behind. All kind of stapled to this one post that's put into the ground with rope. Um, they're uh, kind of all tied. You can just... I'm just gonna. Are they like near the entrance of the tower? Because if not, I'm gonna ignore them as well. Oh, no. So uh, this is by the market. So if you're going uh, to the tower, it's gonna go left while the party is going forward. Yeah, I'm going left. I'm ignoring the party. All right. Bye. Oh wait, the party? Didn't, I'm going off the party. No, I cannot get didn't, split. Didn't you me. just say not to get distracted? Yeah, okay, okay. I thought he said party as in, oh, partying elves. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going off the party. Special is going yeah, on. No. It's just a regular day. It's the regular day. Uh, I'm going with the party. But there, I'm there, just there. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going with a party. Okay. So, Arthur, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, how you handling? But it's all right. Are you, as the kids say, uh, just vibing? Yeah, sure. You know what's weird? What is As a... Oh, here you go. Please tell me what's weird. Go on here. Oh. Do I do the bit? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing something. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay. While we were passing by, I heard the elves say an archaic term in their language. Uh, I'm pretty sure they said cringe. Do you know what that means? My eyes fucking glow. Fucking. We're now in the ultraverse. <laughs> when you come back, it's like. It's like 2019. 2019, Bruh, that's Cringe. fucking cringe, dude. And then I don't yeah. say anything distinguishable like from my mouth. Cringe. 
<laughs> I literally say indistinguishable sounds from my mouth, and it just sounds like a shitty Whoa. bass boosted meme. Yo, you got some Boom. beans. Boom. Boom. Like, like, okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me get some. Oh, also, uh, blinker dogs, we need some right fucking now. Not particularly, but okay. You yeah. really don't... <laughs> Alright, go in music related. Go in music related. Okay, so. Please All don't. Right, yeah. Please don't play YouTube. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. We're good. Continue, pa. So, Verum, as you walk with the party. Your head almost moves by itself as you turn to the left and hear whispers flowing from the tower. They seem to be in Dwarven. Verum, Esdornak, Herengar, Elfzo. And that translates to Verum, Dornak calls to you. As you slowly... Real quick, real quick, real quick. Out of character, can Verum's body move on its own? Uh, I wanted to. Why is Verum possessed? It's more if he's moving without thinking. All right. Oh yeah, that's just how it feels like to walk in a school hallway. Yeah, you're just vibing. Yeah. Okay, so Verum, your character is moving towards the uh, tower, apparently. Yeah. All right. The moment Ocean sees that shit, he's whipping out his fucking staff. Hooking the shepherd's cane around his throat and pulling that bitch back. Ah. So, Verum, you quickly <laughs> snap out of the whisper stop, and you're being pulled back to the party. Um, Ocean? Mm -hmm. I have detected magic. don't recall what magic happened. Fuckery. Well, Ver quick, Verum, you do not remember the what magic happened. fuckery. It's as simple yeah. as that. So, Verum, you it's... do not remember. You just, it just happened. You just started walking. Where, that That's all you, you don't remember anything from that. Oh, so we're going this way. Sorry, I was just walking this way. I, I don't know what I was doing. Verum? Yeah? You're the one who talked about not getting distracted. You are right. I just okay. missed one. Okay, I'm, I, I'm just saying, clearly, the reason they was so on your mind is because you're susceptible. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, now, since he's being leaded by these two, he kind of walks up, Ocean walks up briefly for a second, It's like, actually, you asked us our names, what are yours? He never really said. So, the one on the left wearing this um, pink uh, dress, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, so the one, um, the one in the pink dress is named Lyra, mm -hmm. and the one uh, to the right of you wearing this uh, greenish dress is called uh, Selfia. So nice to meet you both. What's your names in here? It is Goon Zone. We are in Goon Zone. Beware. We do be we in Goon Zone, though. We do be in Goon Zone. Oh, Malkyrus is a pretty beautiful town. There are quite a few sites. There are mountains to the right of us. Uh, to the west of us, I should say. Um, and in the center of it all is the king's uh, little palace. Or the chief, I should say, because... Mm -hmm. Um, as you get closer to the center of town, you notice this golden building in the very center, mm -hmm. um, in the very center between, in, inside this circular fence made of, uh, what seems to be wood, 
and this mm-hmm. uh, central gate on the outer circle of this made also a mm-hmm. void. Verum pog. <laughs> Verum poggers. Mm, okay. Well, I take it that's a big place, yeah? Um, it's it's a pretty big uh, palace. It has this uh, dome roof at the very top, but it also seems to be rectangular with uh, the dome part go at the uh, very end of it. So, uh, the elven woman stop at the gate. They uh, look at uh, look at the two guards. They kind of like converse in a little elvish. Um, what do they say? And they, do my and they start speaking in common. Wait, what? What do, do they say? Do my curiosity? If it's important at all. If it's not, I just need. It's, 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 they're just trying to get you listen. Uh, they tell them that they have, you have like 150 ish people. Uh, they start speaking in common now. Um, we unfortunately cannot let 150 other planers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's them. fair. Um, if, if you if you would volunteer to go in by yourself, oh, that would be sure. Um, hmm. who wants to go and who wants to stay for now? Because Arzor. He he walks over and crouches down. It's been a rough day for you, and if you just want some silence or to be alone, I get that. Just try not I'm to just wander gonna... too far away, okay? Hell, uh, gonna... Unless you want to come with. Uh, so Hell and Jeremiah both. You're uh, asking what I want to do. Yeah. I just wanna dig a hole and lie down in it. We can okay. do that outside in the real world. In this world, you'll get made fun of. Oh, I'll make fun of anyone in the first place. Like, don't, don't. But anyway. Okay. I'm used to it. Okay. Jeremiah, tell one of just a couple of people. So, mm. no. You know what Vam's gonna do? Vam's gonna give a hand on down to Arzer and just hold it out and say, get on up. Come on. Oh, man. Had it not been this particular situation... She literally would have scampered up there like a squirrel. <laughs> okay. Kind of looking up, like. You said, like, sadly. Don't worry, soon you'll be making dead family jokes in no time. Anyway, let's get going. Soon you shall be fine. Okay, no, so it's fine. And Vera, right? Yeah. Okay, Vera uh, is also going to ask, uh,. Do you know anything about a flower giant? And he reveals his mask. This. He already, he already did that last time. They have heard of it. But this guy's the king. Yeah, but you haven't uh, gone inside. We can do that once we actually get in there. Oh, we're not even. Ah, we're not we were in there yet. We're waiting at the gate because we can't have 150 random people show up in there. I see. Right, so, you too, uh, sure? I'm gonna ask if they know about flower giant, since this ain't the king, just a random dude. Mm-hmm. Okay, but so the guards open the gate for you two, and then briefly shut it right after you both enter. Mm. Um, Varum yeah. kind of like walks <laughs> into um, these golden steps uh, held uh, and the uh, overhang held only by two columns of what seems to be quartz. Um, mm. So this is a primarily golden palace uh, with speckles of quartz. Uh, pillars, um, and as soon as you step inside the, uh, near the uh, overhang, the guards uh, near the top of the steps open these huge um, golden doors with uh, with these uh, gems imprinted in them in blue. So I hope you guys can hear me because I'm pretty far away from my mic right here. I can um, hear a bit. You cut out occasionally, but I'm good. It looks very pretty. Mm-hmm. As as the doors slam open, you notice rows of plants in these rectangular uh, rectangular uh, patches of soil on uh, each side of this rectangular palace, uh, filled with these exotic plants. And in the center, um, are is a path made out of uh, uh, a a path made out of a uh, these uh, this water stream. So 
in the center there is this uh whitish path made of quartz and then around it is this uh is this stream of water that seems to be coming from under the palace somehow um on the left and right side there are huge murals uh, uh made of crystals any sort of gems and at the very end of this is obviously the dome uh the dome ceiling and at the very edge you can see a man sitting in this huge bear uh fur coat uh ocean you can tell it's a bear fur and at the um very so so sitting in a golden chair with this bear coat is what seems to be a wood elf you notice the uh wooden te texture in the skin and the um and the uh, long ears and then two guards next to him in full plated armor hello there he sits there kind of bored until you walk in and he sees like this suit of armor and this uh, what seems to be human that seems to be roughed up a bit. I'm just gonna let uh, Ocean take lead, then I'll ask my questions. So, in a booming voice, it echoes throughout this entire uh, Coliseum. Hello there. Who are you? What is your business? He looks over, says, Sa dude, in Elvish. <laughs> Literally the most tired sounding voice. Physically possible. <laughs> then in Elvish, she just says, Basically, we got some towns that got ransacked. The survivors of those places ain't got a lot of food and a lot of places to stay. This is a really iffy thing to do, considering we don't know you in the slightest. So basically, we're asking if you could give us any kind of relief for these people. Um, if you need it, I'm sure some of us would be willing to work for it, or like... Work for just a place to, to stay, be it them or us or anyone. But, yeah. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I don't have manners, I didn't say my name. Hi, I'm Ocean, I'm sorry. Hi. I'm not, sorry. Didn't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not used to not big sisters. Um, you're what? You're echoing. You're echoing. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a moment, I'll fix that. I first have to just get this image. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ocean, continue. Damn, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I still got an echo, though. Uh, and I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, so the, the king, the chief, looks at both of the uh, looks at both of the guards. Hmm. Um. Well, uh, what am I if not kind? Although. I, I I have to know how many people are staying. It is roughly 140 people, actually. It's a lot, and I understand that that's a, quite a big amount. All of these people want to stay in here? Stay for maybe a night. Literally anywhere to sleep. I'm sure they can't be too picky, so if it's just a big enough place for them to sleep on the floor, or even just, like, outside the village... Just somewhere where they'll be watched, but they don't get mauled by random animals. We just got attacked by around, Jesus Christ, four hill giants? Four hill giants. And that's after the towns are already ransacked by an entire fortress of orcs. Uh, it's been a bad, it's been a, been a bad, Jesus Christ, it's been three days. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, we also know that time in here isn't the same as time out on our plane. So, we're going to ask if there's people that would rather not worry about that and head out there quickly, rather than stay here. So chances are you're not going to get a full 140. Hmm. Well, extension can be considered we don't particularly like uh, people from your region of the plains. Mm -hmm. Although, you do seem to be in need. No, we're thankful. And of course, we're not walking charity cases. If you need someone to, like, 
the reason to work for a day, maybe just make something, see if there's anything that you need done. Lord, we don't have a lot of resources right now, but we got numbers. It's complicated. Uh, I, I, I also got a little bit of magic. I'm tired right now, so like all I can really do is fucking make a little bit of fire and heal people. But you know, it's something. Interesting. Show me some of your magic, please. Um, he snaps his fingers. Nothing really happens. Then he like he he reasses for him a little bit. Snaps his fingers a couple times, kind of like lighting a fucking uh, match. Light. His thumb just catches. Uh, let's see. There's that. Um, oh yeah, the runes. The runes. Uh, I'm not for a number of reasons. I just got to specify. Dude. One second, one second. Uh, hold on. Where'd she go? Where do you go? Okay. Where'd you go? I'm waiting for uh, Varum time, so Varum can do his Varum thing. You can do it right now if you really want. Varum, if you want, you can do it right now. Oh, Varum time? Sure. Okay. Varum is so going to like approach. Varum is going to uh, approach a bit close to the notion and ask, I'm in search for knowledge, and I'd like to know if you know anything about Flower Giant, and he's got to take off his mask and ask, do you know this face? Hello? Did you get all that, or nah? I did not. Uh, can you repeat it? Okay. Varim uh, walks up a bit closer to the notion and asks, I am in a search of knowledge. Do you know anything about a flower giant? And he takes off his mask. Do you know anything of this as well? He was a bit uh, surprised that when you take off the mask, he said, uh, he looks at your symbols. What? So he looks, he looks at you. I'm a bit surprised. I haven't seen a person like you in many years. A machine of war made to kill the very weak. Not one to duel anyone in honorable combat. A hunt down and a kill. A finder, a searcher, a seeker. Now tell me, do you know my creators, and where can I find them? It looks at you. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Seen... Okay, I've never actually seen one of you, but in my elven nightmares, I've seen you, and many of you, I should say. Seekers are brutal. No matter the hiding place, no matter the victim, we are like assassins that attack swiftly and brutally. I, I simply just want to my younger age, to your kind in entering through a thinner gate to our own village, hunting, mm. finding, killing. Nothing could be hidden from seekers. Their search for life to devastate is constant. He looks at the and flower he's... room. You know, Ocean, I may One have a... Yes. But go ahead and keep talking. Okay. I may... I may... I may... A job for you if you'd like. A lot of people... And what would that be? There's an old ruin near the uh, director uh, of Was it the tower? No, these ruins. These ruins, of course, contain. Uh, I've seen. Left 
last time I first went down there, they said they saw many symbols. Uh, they described them all to me and written them down. Mm -hmm. One of them seemed to be very similar to yours, when I'm careful mm -hmm. If you were to investigate this, go deeper, uh, find something, bring it back to me. Anything uh, in particular, I will allow you and your party to stay. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Before we do that, we're going to have to take a short little rest, since uh, I yeah. believe we have exhausted most of our like, supplies when it comes to combat. Yeah. Of course, of course. Take your time. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to take a short rest now. Yeah. I'm going to know I don't mm. actually know where I am. I think probably <laughs> lying in the hole the rest of the outside of the palace. Yeah, everyone's outside the palace. Uh, Ocean and Baron both get escorted outside um, past the wooden mm. gates. So we short rest in? Uh, probably tell everyone what's happening first. I'll let you lead the lead on that. I'm gonna say short rest, since I need to get all my shit back. I've used everything. Yeah, but there's a ton of people here that don't know. So, so, so Ocean, as you, uh, since you're, uh, you have, you have knowledge of magic, as you walk through the gates of, um, through the wooden gates of the palace, you feel this magical tugging kind of pulling you back a little until it kind of, like, flops backwards and, uh, you're no longer in this magical pulling. Mm. I'm sorry, what? So, uh, it feels That's like you're sorry. jello as you start leaving this mm. palace, like the gates of the palace. It feels like you're in like some sort of jello as you like try to escape and finally get out of this whatever like spherical shape of what feels to be some sort of weaved magic around this palace. Real quick, can I make an Arcana check to tell what kind of magic this is? No. Ah. No. Sorry. Um, that was... Alright, then. And suddenly, um, you notice uh, both uh, Lyra and Selfie start... Uh, their eyes start glowing yellow for a second, and then suddenly their eyes are back to normal. Oh, uh... Looks like you do have a place to stay after all. Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling uh, me what that was? Oh, uh, our king sends us uh, messages sometimes uh, in order to inform the village at the same time. Um, That's... It's this entire ritual with uh, the crystal. That angers but me. Essentially, I don't see it them. happening. I was lying in a hole in the dirt. I'm gonna Essentially, pick up uh, Arzur and just give her the scary face of Skeleton Man. Why? Arzur freaked out and he just like jumped out. Scare you into happiness, him. that's why. As, so, Ocean, that's um. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, he just told us that uh, to allow any uh, outsiders into our homes in order to uh, give them food and shelter. Okay. So, uh, you should, so any of you should be able to go to any house and just be able to ask if they have a place to stay. Usually, um, mm -hmm. refugees stay in the, uh, temple, although, since this is a this formal message, anyone would be allowed to uh, go anywhere. Okay. Well, I appreciate that's a fact, though we don't want to overstay our welcome. So, Verum, President and my I... Oh, it's only okay, for this. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna tend to the wounded real quick. I'm gonna use up the rest of my... Alright. Probably use up the rest of my spells to keep us all alive, you know? Um, you yeah. tell everyone... Go to the... You said monastery? Temple? Which one was that? I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Temple. Apologies, Lyra. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Um. Hmm. Okay. You you tell them to head over to that place. Um. Also, tell them 
the time fuckery. We make sure that they know that. However, we're not going to force them to make any decision on that. Those who feel like, yeah, they get some relief, some food and a place to sleep, it's worth the chance of staying a day here. Tell them, like, that's a thing. You know? Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna... <sighs> you kind of go around with your healer's kit. You kind of... Um, mm -hmm. You do, like, put some plasters on uh, mm -hmm. people who have, like, these broken legs. You notice one person in particular kind of uh, one of their their ankle kind of turned like 180. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you kind of like put a cast on that, like turn it all the way back. You hear these little cracking noises that you hate, and just like mm -hmm. back into place. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I've gotten the same thing as a kid, whether you believe it or not. Bear cubs are very rowdy. They're very fun. Uh, you find you actually find like a kid. That's like mm -hmm. uh, has multiple like huge scratches down there. Uh, you just gotta no, you tend don't. to that. Yeah. And looking around, there doesn't seem to be any more injuries throughout this. Uh, okay. Group. So everyone's uh, getting settled and taking a rest. All right. Yeah. So where are you gonna take the rest? You can go anywhere. I'm. I'm uh. I'm gonna go check out the tower. I'm still. In the dirt. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so... He's gonna instruct Jeremiah and Kel to, uh... Go keep everyone at the no. monastery. Before going Kel? to the tower, I'm gonna take a short rest. Yeah. Kel, before... Do, like, you keep watch at the people. We'll talk later, find out who you are, what you're about. But for now, I trust yeah, you to so not I'm... do dumb things. Jeremiah, so, do you go with him, too? Rest. Yeah. Yes. Short rest. Okay, pauses. Okay, I am not that guy. Cool, baby. Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell Ocean, hey, I'm gonna go check out the tower we saw earlier with my free time. Um. Okay, remember, don't get distracted, but I'm gonna leave you yes. to that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna need look. you to focus, and if I get distracted, you should go to the tower. That's where I'll be. Okay, what amount of time? We only really need one person to be extremely focused because that person can rebring focus to everyone else. It's so too much. Okay. So okay. In that case, give me an amount of time. I'll check in on you at that tower. If I don't find you yeah. there, I'll check at the monastery, okay? Okay. Or ideally Going just stay the there. Tower. Okay. Give me an amount of time first, you dip dick. Come on. Uh, three hours. Three hours? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so Varen's gonna bring Arzor with him to make Arzor more happy. Uh, she needs no. to go for a walk. All right. So you're bringing Arzor? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so Kel's coming too, so it's your... You know. You already have to keep Mm-hmm. Ocean is going to honestly just be walking through the market, huh? looking at any kind of interesting things we want people to get for the group. All right. So wait, what's you're... going on? Uh, you're example. being taken out for a walk after said short rest. Like, if we all yes. took one, it's like, are you guys taking a short rest? Are they just walk? dragging yeah. me yeah. behind? Yeah, I think we are. I'm doing that. Close okay. enough. Mm -hmm. So everyone else finds their place to stay. Um, in particular, Ocean go and Jeremiah go to the market, and then Arzor and Graham and Kel all decide to go to the Strange Tower. So, sure. let me see who goes first. I think I'll go with Ocean. Okay. Alright, so Ocean. Mm -hmm. Searching up. Throughout this market, um, mm -hmm. you find smaller, stranger beasts for sale. Um, mm -hmm. And what is this stranger piece for sale that you said? Um, so you find an Elmari, mm -hmm. which is like a, which in, in these like cages, in, in this huge cage, there's like kind of. Like, they, they, they seem to be like these uh, 
these like mm. rabbit creatures, but mm. they seem to have like this horn, like uh, yeah, like uh, like a walrus or sorry, not a walrus, like a narwhal. Mm. I mean, out of their head. I'll, I'll send you a cool picture of one. They're pretty cool, bro. Mm. He didn't just. So, there's some of those. Um, there are uh, some of the uh, there's some like rare berries for sale. They seem uh, the vendors seem to be like yelling into the street. They they heal you up and they uh, feed you well. Uh, as he gets approaches you, would you like to buy some of my very oh, yeah. delicious berries? Would they happen to be of the quote-unquote good variety? <laughs> good berry. <laughs> I can make ten in the snap of my fingers. I thank you for your offer, but no, I'm good. But these will remain fresh. These are what? These will always remain fresh. I don't think... Damn no, no, very time. So, very time. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not hungry. I don't think I'll ever be hungry fresh. again. Oh, is there? Beef There's jerky. Also yeah. Selling kinds of beef. Mm -hmm. I to a post uh, with these two large tentacles peering from their back. <laughs> what? I can't hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> I guess after moving on from the berry sales and with a. Come on, dude. He, um... Oh, fuck. Goes over to the Displacer Beasts and just crouches down. Sup, how's it going? <clears throat> Kitty! I'm gonna make a attack roll. Sorry. He's making an attack roll on me? Yep. Okay. E20. Natural twenty. So oh, Vampire, the tower. Wait, wait, wait! I'm, I'm attacking you. One sec. He's attacking my ass. I walked over to them slowly and then crouched down, and they decided, "Fuck you." I'm going to whip his yeah. tentacle with you. Uh, that is a plus six to hit, so twenty six. I'm guessing that hits, right? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually. Okay, so that is one d six plus four, so now it's two d six. Hello, Kitty. Um, five, How six. are you doing? So nine damage, nine piercing damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Christ. Okay. What? I can't hear you over either what it is that Varum's playing or just the fact that you're cutting out in general. No, it's, it's Ver Varum. Both, actually. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, and then let's roll six. So that is a six. So nine plus six is fifteen. Fifteen damage from uh, one tentacle. That kills me. That, that kills For you? This, that puts me unconscious for the sake of literally yeah. walking up to this dude, crouching down saying, hey, uh, how you doing? Would you mind okay, Jeremiah's gonna kill you. <laughs> Immediately after. Okay, he, looks, not he got like anything. fucking, he got knocked back after fucking Jeremiah, after getting whipped, and then Jeremiah just picks him up. It's a dick move, oh, dude. Please. I just said hello. Come on, man. The fuck I ever do to you? Why didn't you heal during your shirt rest? Huh? You should have healed during your shirt rest. How much HP do you have? Oh fuck! I don't. I didn't know that short rests actually heal. Um. They do, fuck, but you have do... to attack how much? So, so you, so you're at level three. So you can choose uh three up to three hit dice. What's the short rest? Um, and each hit die is like your hit die, so it's like one gate for. Um, okay. In that case, 
Considering plus, plus to... Yeah, in that case, considering today... Let's see, my constitution... Bonus is plus two, so I'm gonna roll 1d8. Actually, yeah, 1d8. Uh, and then you wow. also, every long rest, you recover half your um, hit points, hit, hit dice. So every short rest, you can use your hit dice, and you, you recover half your hit points. Okay, so for instance, wait. Hit dice is in the amount you have, so like if I have four, I'll heal two HP and then I can roll a hit die. Or so half the like every D you get another hit die, right? Every level you get mm -hmm. a hit die, that's how you determine your uh, full health. Mm -hmm. But you also get every, another hit die every single level. So say level four, you have four hit dice, you can use mm -hmm. and you use two of them. You use two mm -hmm. of them, you heal <laughs> uh, 2d8 as a um, 2d8 as your because your hit die is a d8, right? Mm -hmm. So you heal 2d8 because you use two of your hit die, and you just add your constitution modifier twice since you use uh, two dice, right? Okay. So how many right. how many attacks do you? I'm gonna use one actually. One. Right. So roll yeah. d8, add two, I believe, right? I've already rolled yeah. for healing. Yeah. I am a scrub. I got four plus two, so I got six health. Okay. Uh, that we'll brings still me to save. 21. Okay. We'll just say the displacer beast still kills you, right? And that's funny. Okay. Yeah, it just fucking knocks my bitch ass out. Yeah. I'm gonna... So, you just get whipped by this tentacle that pinches on oh, you, and then you just get knocked back, like, into the middle of the market. Jeremiah runs yeah. up to you, makes you, like, uh, like, uh, brings you back up to your, uh, like while you're pulling on he kind of lifts your head, just sort of broke up and just kind of Yes. Um, oh, yes, does not have. He does not have pure wounds, so I'm just going to use healing word. He's going to whisper into your ear as he as you start throwing up as he, as he brings your head up a mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. And 1d4 plus. Solve it. Three. So let me roll before. Yeah, and I told you, man, he's fucking. He's not a healer. He made a nuker character. All right, cool. So six. heal six. I heal six. So the six it HP I had, plus the fucking whatever the shit. One second. So let me edit. Actually, no, I'm not really using the uh, maps right now, so I'll just do this and uh. The one thing. Anyway. So, okay. Like, okay. Well, wait, and you're just like staring directly at this angry displacer beast. The fuck I do to you? <laughs> I know you hear me. You can hear. You don't. You don't understand exactly what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah. To you too, bitch. Okay. Shit. Act like you don't understand. Okay. I see you. The merchant's over actually. What did you do to it? He named this child. Huh? What did you, what did you do say? to it? The merchant. I didn't. I did nothing. I crouched <laughs> down, like semi near him, and said, "Sup, dude? How, how's it going?" Why would you say to the splinter beast? I can literally talk to animals, my guy. I'm just curious how he's doing, all caged up like that, you know. Seems unhappy. Well, uh, he's more happier when you're not near him, so please. Yeah, I see that. I, I got you. I'll get the hell out of here. All right, I see. All right. He walks around the market. <sighs> uh, one place in particular uh, with this this tent. Uh, this mm -hmm. sorry, this circular. Uh, sorry, this cylindrical tent. Um. Do you want to go in there? See, it's a purple cylindrical tent put up uh, beside awesome. some sort of merchant of sorts. This was yeah, sure, he's going. As he's going, since I only have fucking six health right now, I'm pretty sure. He, you enter, and inside is a male uh, high elf, because you can tell because of the skin color, it's it's more yellowish mm -hmm. instead of the barky color. Mm -hmm. 
meditating, you see incense around you. Um, and you also notice uh, a counter to the right of him with uh, so a glass counter with some very special items. Uh, be uh, because of the way that they're shelved. And hmm. He opens Great. one of his eyes. Hello. That's where we're gonna go. Back. We're gonna go to Baron. Okay. Yes. By the way, right, I'm just Varum absent mind at the cast. Yeah, Varum time. I'm just absent mind the uh, cast fucking cure wounds um, as I walk into the tent. Just to get my health, to get my health back up. Jesus Christ. Varum. Mm -hmm. Varum. Varum time. Come on. All right, I guess we're going back to Ocean Jeremiah. Verum time. Verum time. So it goes drop No. His goals were very simple. So Ocean is mm -hmm. uh. This elf, this high elf sitting in there with the incense, looks at, look at, looks at you with one of his eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Greetings. Salutations. Uh, he stands up. He uh, snaps his fingers and both of the incense just uh, turn off. Mm -hmm. Well. What can I get you? Um, currently, <laughs> I'm just walking around this place. Currently from a like different plane of existence, just happened to stumble in here, seeing what there is. What exactly do you sell? Little up. Well, what could I interest you in some tonight? Let me tell what you, they you are cheaper than the rest. What did you just say? Well, would you be interested in some healing potions concocted? This one. You look pretty rough. Up. I definitely wouldn't mind, depending on how much they are. We have, uh, we have the best and cheapest uh, potions around. Uh, he that sounds like a the... scam immediately, but okay. He, uh, he goes to one of the doors and Everything pulls out uh, this wooden piece uh, to hold uh, vials. And he, and he shows you um, this red, reddish liquid in this uh, tube. He gives mm -hmm. it to you. Each one would be around uh, 10 gold. Dude. And that is the steal, I should say. Dude, I literally don't even have that on me. I lived in the yes. woods. I'm sorry, Chief. I can't. <laughs> well, no, he, no. Takes the, uh, he takes the. Um, the back. Well, then I guess. Why would you wander into March without gold? He oh, I have some. That's not a lot. Well, uh, how much do you have? That sounds like haggling tactics. How much do you have? Well, uh, are you still getting hit? Like six and eight silver. Six? Uh, well, it's not a lot. Tell you what, um, I have an item that I want to get off my hands, but I give it to mm. you uh, for six and eight silver. Six Depends on what silver. it is. He goes to the back, uh, kind of wait a couple minutes. Wait. Wait. As, as I'm waiting, I just kind of walk over to the incense and give it a sniff. Huh. Kind of nasty. <sighs> okay, so... He he comes over... Uh, comes over with this band of necklaces. Um, each one containing uh, a different colored gem. Uh, mm. There, there seems to be 
uh, six. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there seems to be six magic beads hanging from this necklace. Mm. Okay. Oh, those well, thingies. I think I might have heard of them. I, well, I vaguely I do? I don't know what it does. And apparently it just doesn't work. So if you're willing to pay six gold for a piece of jewelry, such as this one, I'll be willing it, to trade. So your thing is that it just doesn't work? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, so, and you're selling me a defective product for six gold? No, uh, it is a very nice looking. Oh, so no, no, no! Nice. You're selling me a defective product for only well, six gold it because does. it still looks nice. Okay, that's an interesting bargain you're proposing. Well, hmm. well, well, hmm. well. I can say this: we don't even know if it has an actual use because, again, it doesn't work. Uh, I found it. It doesn't uh, work, but judging by the. Uh... I forget what they what they're exactly called, but my mom mentioned a few of them to me. Did someone say Certain judge? Necklaces, number of beads. Each bead contains a spell. Those things. I don't. Hmm. Looks. Did Jeremiah look over? Any kind of whispers? Jack, what? we're making the mother of all omelets. Yeah, yeah. And he looks over. What are you whispering? Mm hmm. Well, you see, we're the buyers, and right now it looks kind of like a done deal. Nah, or rather a bum deal. It doesn't really look uh, very incentivizing so far. So give us a minute to talk, if you'll excuse me. Now then, what is he saying? Or is... Buy six gold for it? Yes. He doesn't even know how to use it. He doesn't believe in he doesn't, the gods. He doesn't know how to use it. At the same time, he's selling us a defective product for six gold. Now you see. He doesn't know how That's to use it because he doesn't believe in a god. Yeah. You see? Mm-hmm. A defective product, he looks at Jeremiah while doing air quotes, isn't quite worth six gold. That's a little too much, I think. He kind of gets it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. defective. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. like, what is it even supposed to do? It looks kind of bland, in fact. I mean, those gemstones? Yeah. Make a, make like, I'll thing. admit, the gems themselves are a little bit pretty. Like, he, he talks a little bit about it. The gems themselves are a little bit pretty, but all of them together don't really work well. A little bit tacky. A little bit much. I go for far more understated things fashion-wise. Okay. Let's make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a deception check. Uh... Deception. Where the fuck? There it is. I got a fourteen. It was almost two, and I'm scared. I was scared. I got a fourteen. Oh. Uh. 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 Verum lives again. All right. Yeah, I am here. And now Pat was briefly dead, it would seem. Ah, uh, shame. Uh, I'm currently waiting for Verum time so I can throw Arzer at something and say, Arzer, be happy. And then Arzer says, no. Well, you had Verum time a little bit ago, but then you said nothing, so. Did I? Yeah. Shit. We kept, we, everyone said Verum yes time at least it. once. I said it twice. Yes, and Ooh. Yes, Damn. it's no longer your turn. I want my turn. You decided to hit pass. Damn. You passed go and you did not collect $200. Damn it. <laughs> Those are mine now. 
How Your screen time, <laughs> give it to me. Your screen time, give it to me. I will become the most important character. I will become the main character. Yes. Cool. Can I be um, the big so bad evil guy? So far, uh... Obviously, that's out, my job. I've not built out the Verum lore. So far, it's straight up just Necrons built by someone. Okay, so... Now that I have IRL dice instead of my phone dice, so I will uh, roll my insight. Okay. Uh, what did you get? I got a 14. 14, I got an 11. Well, so, 2. So, you won. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey. Okay. So, as, like, you're, like, trying to, uh, get him to tell you this. He says, okay, okay. I really do not want it, so how about I sell it to you for five gold? How about that? That? That's better. Okay, I can I can live with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, <laughs> sure. Seems worth it. I'll take it. Just don't go into uh, any local villages with it. Uh, you know. Nice. Can I ask why? Oh, uh, no, you cannot. Okay, so now you're trying to sell me a defective product and then giving me ominous warnings. Just, so just far, do not... I do not have any intentions to do business with you again. This does not look good for you, friend. But okay. I'll, I'll, I'll... Okay, okay, okay. You promise not to tell anyone? I just want to know what's best for me. Go ahead. I may or may not have um, gone on a little mission to the local town and may have uh, taken something. Um, and and like rubs his eyes a bit. And uh, found it hanging off someone's uh, neck. Dead uh, neck. I... Oh, of course, of course. The de what are the dead going to use it for? I understand completely. Yeah, uh, just do not tell anyone to... Uh... I will not. However, <laughs> this is not necessary. But I would appreciate if, due to my silence, if you would drop it down to four gold. Or at least four and a half. Or Both four percent. and five silver. It's yeah. Okay. Oh, I six actually plus two, which is me. <laughs> oh. I got an eight. An eight. So we tied. I I feel I feel as if yeah, I feel as if five gold is pretty good for uh, these Pretty fine jewels, wouldn't you say? Okay, okay, okay. That's fair. You make a good thing. And again, I am about to blackmail you with silence. That's just rude. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. I want, right. to get, I want to get my money's worth, but I'm not a scoundrel. Hmm. Alright, so. I think it's time to switch to Baron time, right? It is Verum time, yes. It is Verum time! Woo! Mm -hmm. Arzur, walk. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to walk I... instead of me dragging you now? Mm -hmm. Or are you still going to continue moping? Mm -hmm. low? We'll just say that you're not to it up. Mm -hmm. I quietly stand up. Okay, we are going to the Funko Tower. There might be gold. The Funko Tower? <laughs> Alright. Yes. Now, Verum is just gonna walk towards the tower and bring ours along. Does the whispering come back? So, you approach the tower. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, Kel is just kind of like looking around, making sure uh there's no people following. He's being suspicious. Oh, is just kind of sleeping? 
Arthur is just doing the opposite of vibing. I'm yeah. just walking behind, like, yeah, sure. They're kind of the most. Sorry. Uh, Vera was like in the front, kind of like, uh, going towards the uh, tower. It's, it seems to be like this uh, very uh, dark tower, maybe made of some sort of black gemstone. As the uh, as the outer ring of it does seem to be uh, made of this very fine material. Barum is finally Barum reached the tower. The work. Okay, so you look for a door, and there doesn't seem to be any. I'll make one. I like to. Uh... Slowly and surely, dig my hand in and like pull a brick out. Okay. It's not. It's not a brick. It's like a like a singular piece of this very hard material. So if you want, okay. I have a hammer. Can I try and smash it? Sure, make it. All right. What should I roll? Strength. All right. Hold on. Swing at it with a hammer. It goes for eight. You got an eight. So as you hit it, you're just like moping and you just like kind of tap it. I'm just like, in general, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. Hammer time. I literally do not care anymore. It's hammer time. You just like kind of hit it. Doesn't do anything. Well, I guess that would have been kind of interesting. Okay, Varum, what do you Varum is, uh, is there anything climbable on this to get to the top of it? No, actually. It's actually okay. completely, so there's not even, like, a quarter of an inch ledge. Can I try again? You know what, Varum is going to do a... I'm, to my knowledge, a... Kel is with them, right? Yeah, that is true. I'm going to go with him saying, I know I don't know you guys, but you guys just randomly walk up to monuments and then climb them? Like, I don't... Why? Can Varum roll an investigation check? Sure. What? Yeah, you can. You can do that. Okay. That is a eight. Eight. All right. You stare at the tower, um, kind of looking around. You can't find any sort of doors, any sort of entrances. There is a window at the very top of this tower. And there, there, are no there are no rocks. Uh, okay, so you I have trouble? Like, Wait a minute, I have my hand axe! I'm gonna throw my hand axe out the fucking window. Alright. What's the range of your hand axe? Uh, 20 for, uh, the in-range feet, and 60 for out-of-range. Why? It's, out of range. it's very out-of-range. Why are we destroying property? It is very out-of-range. In fact- Is it, like, above 60 feet? Yeah, it is, so you automatically fail. So you throw the okay. axe up, and it just comes back down. Catch. Put that back in my inventory. Unfortunate. <laughs> well, Vamp turns and walks away. Wait, wait, wait. So as so as you were investigating, you just kind of, like, watch the tower a little, and you hear the whispering come back. It's It's like when you, like, you know that thing where, like, you have to look at it for a little like 30 seconds before you like get dizzy and stuff like the yeah all right all right know. let's see where this goes it's it kind of like that you cannot move your eyes you you are just staring at this thing and you just start hearing whispers again more of them something about door neck 
Follow the whispers. They seem to be coming from everywhere, actually. From, like, from the tower. From every single uh, inch of the towers producing these whispers. As if... Dornak? What is Dornak? Well, obviously it's a portmanteau of doorknob and snack. You can't not hear it. You can Uh, sorry, I just have to get a snack. Uh, I'm going to get closer and touch it. Touch the with just the palm of my hand. All right, your metal hand kind of grips to the side of the uh, tower. The whispers get a bit louder. And you have this vision of this huge gargantuan um, creature tentacled um, oh, so you see this what are you doing it's it's in your mind what? no you see him tweaking lighting. he is tweaking so, right now as you stare at this creature um, from what seems to be a bird's eye perspective you notice a little tiny thing a little dot in the corner of what of this creature, and suddenly you whoosh towards it. You see, um, you see this. Uh, I don't know. You see, I'm this, busy sharpening my you blades. Ginger, you see this ginger dwarf with a very long beard, um, blue Jeremiah. eye. Uh, no, actually, Jeremiah, I do not think he has blue eyes. Let me check. Yeah, he his eyes are. This, this dwarf, uh, similar height to Jeremiah, but um, blue eyes, has this helmet with two uh, two tusks going outwards. Um, in one hand, he seems to have this uh, hammer that glows purple. Um, his boots uh, seem to be exerting some sort of uh, flaming force, uh, thrusting upwards. And with his right hand, you see this spectacular sword, um, completely silver, uh, made of silver with this uh, very nice black handle and this uh, blue eye gem embedded into the hilt of it. He goes mm-hmm. towards this huge being. Um, behind him, you notice uh, this dragonborn on the ground casting spells. <clears throat> and you notice this very weird demonic uh, wolf uh, also charging towards this huge creature. Fascinating. Um, as this, as these two are fighting, um, as these two are fighting this huge creature, uh, the the sword that the dwarf is battling with seems to be almost talking to you in these dwarven whispers. Um, jumbled up in a way that you can't really make out each word. But something about Dornak. Dornak. Hmm. Hmm. What about the doormat? What? Dornak. Hmm. I am going to make a history check if I know that word. Okay. And then suddenly your vision is returned uh, near the... Uh... Fascinating. Uh, are the whispers Julie. gone? Yeah, the whispers suddenly stop. Holy shit, do I need to find a real d20? What the fuck? I'm just making absent-minded rolls in all of my fucking like skills and shit and abilities. Just because, why not? And all of these are, like, not getting past 10. Jesus Christ. I got a singular 19 on Arcana, which then became an 18. I got the audio glitch. So, uh... Ba? Yes. Okay, I rolled an 18 on that history check. 
That is actually not enough. So, oh. try to recall what Rob can do. Uh, what you can have call. Damn. In you always are. You seem to. Mm -hmm. seem to have the distant memories, though, of what it means. Of what means? As if, as if this connection to it hasn't been stronger, has always been with you, this connection to whatever, uh... The tower? This connection to, uh, Dornak seems to be always with you, but right now it feels as strong as... Is it because I ate that artifact? Okay. Here's Verum's idea. Verum is going to go to a tree, start cutting it down to create a, mm. a ladder to go up to the, uh, go up to the window. This is an no, over I could just 60 try and feet climb high it, window. Right? You know what? There's nothing climbable on it. You can't get You know grip. what? I have rope. In my inventory, actually. I could try and scale it. You know what? Arja, you do that. Rogues Let climbing sheer see. surfaces, I believe it. Let me see how much I have. Alright, let's see here. Oh, you know what? I have arrows, too. Hold on. I'm gonna try something. Okay, I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. And I have a couple of arrows. I have a bow. I'm thinking, what if I shot, what if I tied some rope to an arrow, I shot it through the window, and then climbed up? What if, what if you do that? Well, you I don't know. <laughs> do we know if the glass, I mean, the does anybody glass, else have any better? Wood? Make I mean, does anybody else have a better idea? I basically cannot give you a better idea because I'm not there, but I'm asking questions that haven't been asked. Is it glass? Is it an open window? I is have it no clue. Wood? It is hey, an open uh, window. Okay. Make the ladder. Well, Arzer, do the Arzer thing. All right. <laughs> right, so... Uh, what should I roll to do this? So... I've got that. So I... Shit, I hope I didn't just remove... All of... Alright, alright. I should still have arrows. Oh, should I? Alright. It looks like this is going to use up all of the rope, so I guess I can take that out of my inventory. Anyway. I mean, what skill would this, like, acrobatics, athletics? You have to make your bow? What? You have to make the shot first. You have to make the shot. Right, so in actions? I guess I would shoot the short bow. Attack. What's the range of the short bow? And the range is, oh, it's 80 feet. That okay. should. Okay. Um, 80, 80 feet to what? No. Uh, so it should have like shit, a my slash. console turned off at some point. Oh, well. 80 slash something. Oh, 80 slash 80 hey, slash 320. There's a 15 gig update, nice. 320, alright. I think that should have make a your, range. Make, make it the attack report. So we can find out if Oh, it yeah, it. I already rolled that. It's 12. 12 does miss. It goes... And then returns back to you, almost hits you, and you just, like, dodge out of the way. Alright, can I try again? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. You roll for it. This well, is a really 12, good one. Well, if 12 didn't hit, 11's not going to hit either. 
Story. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, kind of leans over to Vera. People are looking at us. What? People are looking at us. Uh, yeah, uh, that rope will not come down far enough for us to be able to climb it. Hmm. You it's think 50 we should feet up what? It's a 50 16, feet hip. The 16 hit? Hip and rope. With. No, actually. So. Huh? So, yes. How tall is the tower again, if I may ask? More than 50 feet. Dang. More than 50 feet? Oh. Well, what if? Wait a minute, what if you made a ladder to go up to the rope? Sure. I'm gonna just have Kel chime in. Couldn't, uh, it, whatever the small one's name is, get on your shoulders, then jump, and then climb a bit, just a bit, and then hit rope? How tall is that? the tower? Uh, I'm guessing 100 feet. More. More? Yeah, we can't More. do that. So, yeah, well, the issue isn't the tower, it's where the window is, isn't it? You know what? Yeah, I, have an idea. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start, like, digging at, like, the uh, side of the tower uh, to see if the the unbreakable Help. material goes down. Uh, okay, so ocean. That is uh, so dangerous. Help. That's going to make it collapse. That's how it works. Um, no. So so Ocean, who was playing Kel, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so we're like looking at you guys doing this, and they're like weirded out. A bit. Yeah, like guys, couldn't we just ask someone what the tower is? You kind of jump you know with the gun. Jerem, as as you're digging into the ground, uh, you find more and more of this weird material. It seems to be black material. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty... gonna hit it. Obsidian? Uh, what? I'm pretty sure it's just an obsidian Minecraft tower. Obsidian? It's not that uncommon. I'm just Minecraft gonna hit it It's pretty rude. We don't know if this has any like significance to them. Uh, we don't know Elvish. Doesn't? <laughs> this, this is his name? Ocean? Actually, I know Elvish as well. But it doesn't he? Doesn't, uh, doesn't count well. I don't think well. he does. I think he knows none of us. I'm pretty sure he knows Elvish. Why would he know Elvish? He's an orc. Because That's he's a half-orc. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure his player specified he knows Elvish. Ask him. He knows Elvish, bro. He knows Elvish. He knows huh? Elvish? I thought he was... I thought Elvish was dead. So, oh my okay. god, I just got that. <laughs> okay, so, walk I live to... in uh, Nevada, we know that. Okay, okay. so, okay. who is also Kel. Kel, what you <laughs> say? <laughs> I'm proud of that one. I just thought that one up. So, your Kel's... mother. Staring at you weirdly. Yeah. So That's Kel does know Elvish, correct? If, yes. He said? Okay. He's just gonna walk over like. Okay. So I'm not gonna explain how I know these people. I just don't know them very well. I'm gonna say they're kind of enamored with that tower, and I don't know why. I could get... what is it? It's a weird material. They're confused. I'm just along for the ride here. Please don't associate me. Honestly, I'm used to being looked at funny. It's not like that hasn't been what's going on my whole life. Whatever. Okay, so. As you ask around, make an investigation check. Because they kind of okay. don't want it. Alright. Investigation. I have a question. What is his charisma? His charisma is actually 8 plus 2. But for investigation, that is going to be a plus zero. So. Okay. Okay, and then I can Roll the nine. Um, what's his intelligence? Because it's an investigation check. 
Investigation check is just plus zero. Well, I rolled a nine okay. for. A... <sighs> Excuse me. I rolled a nine for investigation. No, it's only Kel investigating right now, so. It's oh. Fine. Damn, it really can't be uppercase. All uh, right, shit. Anyway. Check. Or actually, no. Yeah, all these ones. Eight. Got eight. eight. Uh, people just kind of walk away as you talk to them. They don't really want to talk to you. Especially since uh, Graham's digging at the tower. And how long has this been going on for now? Um, maybe 45 minutes now, after Arthur multiple, uh, multiple times tries to get into the window. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. He just kind of sits there awkwardly, looks at his arm as if checking a watch. Really? No? Alright. Hmm. Okay. That's it. I, I'm so, not gonna act like I can actually play his character. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know so if you... Baron. Hello, I am Orc. Nice to meet you. Name's Orc. Half Orc. Half Orc. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do, Verum? Uh, Verum is going to attack the tower. Sword. Cut okay. it in twain. Cut does a the six... 100 foot tower in twain. So, does a 16 hit the tower? It does. <laughs> does a 16 hit a tower? I see. Does the tower dodge my attack? Hmm. Well, does it? You didn't answer the question. Erzor, why the fuck is your. Why is your dice entirely red? I don't what, know. Why is your die out for blood? I don't know what happened. <laughs> why is why are all of your die red? Why are they all out for blood? What the fuck? Oh, also, I, I will pay I uh, max anything. damage to attack uh -huh. the tower. I think maybe it was so, just Eldritch. As you run Buffy. at the tower mm -hmm. with the sword, you strike it, suddenly you see um, jumbles of flame emerge as you hit the tower with a sword, and suddenly sparks fly off the tower. Dude, you better stop. And then suddenly, there, suddenly, uh, I mean, I mean, the dude, you should probably stop. From the tip of where you hit it, and it seems to absorb uh, whatever metallic material the sword's made out of, and it just burns somehow. The, the metal just burns off into ashes. The only thing left is the handle. Fucking, I've lost my longsword. That was my main thing. Sorry. To be you fair, maybe you bullied. shouldn't just hit random objects. Gonna try again. Uh, hand axe. Uh, that is uh, 15 and max damage once more. Okay. I'm what? going to guess. Your hand axe? What? Hand axe, hand axe, yeah. You throw it, and it starts. So you throw it, it hits the tower, the sparks fly off, it flies back words towards your face, and right before it hits you, it evaporates into the same ash, all of it. Well, maybe I you should punch it next. You know, that is a wonderful Don't! idea. <laughs> I am metallic. I'm going to touch it again. You touch it? Okay. But I'm going no. to lightly push on it. You want to hit it? You want to hit Not it? Not hit so it, bad. lightly push. Okay. I'm lightly. not exhibiting. Nothing happens. It's just tower rope. Damn, is this a tower, bro? I'm just gonna... Hmm. Punch it. Huh. Go ahead, punch Ooh. it, dude. Definitely Can I make an insight check to tell if the tower is real? 
Dude, it will definitely not do one d one hundred damage, bro. Okay, it will not do that. Damn. Okay, so you can make an inside check on that. Why not? See if it's real. Oh. Guess what? Erzor has also seen the tower. Okay, it is twenty one huh? uh, to check if the tower is real or if there's <laughs> anything real. magical fuckery with the tower. Seems pretty real, and it definitely has some magic fuckery. You know what I mean, bro? They like kind of pull uh, up their skin. Very correct. Ah, uh, it seems when the thing that cool thing blew up my thing. Can I make an athletics check to try to climb it, or no? I mean, it's smooth, so you can, you don't have any ledge. Like, have you seen the guy like rock yeah, climbing yeah, yeah. in the order of an well, like, people, have, people have climbed oily, uh. uh Oily poles. Question, does, does, does Kelviz have any, like, room? Yeah, but that's... Wait a minute, I just had another thought. Are there any trees next to the tower? Yeah. How yeah, tall but it's are like the trees? trees? Not that tall. Uh, Actually, no, there's actually no trees around here. The trees are on the outskirts of the town. Of this, uh, of the center town, I should say. So he doesn't have any rope, by the way? Uh, we'll see. Uh, you can check his character sheet. Sure can I go climb a tree? I do not know how, frankly. Um. Okay, so it is. He does how actually. can I go climb, climb a tree? Oh, yes, okay. feet of feet. He's going to walk. How wide is the tower, by the way? Thirty foot radius. Thirty foot radius. So hmm. sixty feet down there. You know. If we did this right, we could have just used my rope, and then Erzor's rope, and then just walked up the tower with one dude on one side, the other dude on the other side, and then just get up via the friction. Wait, and like, you never pushy. told me you had rope? You didn't ask. Okay, I have another idea. Your rope is already up there, dude. Okay, but what if we tied... What if we can still tie the rope to the other rope? How? It's still up there. I'm thinking... We shoot an if, arrow at the rope. If, if you communicated first... We shoot an arrow at the rope, guys. Come on, it's that easy. So, um, you guys look up at the rope as you're discussing this, and the rope, you see two... Black gloved hands pull up the rope. That you shot do your thing. Shoot it. What are and, you doing? Oh my god, I'm not associated. And the rope is gone. Oh damn. Does he like That's shake a hand outside, like get off my lawn? Oh no. god. Hey, uh, Kel, you're pretty strong. Do my you are in the air so high, singing a yo creepers KO'd. No. Okay. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. You're very strong. I believe you could uh, do what the kids call yeet arzer. That's what I was getting at. You want me to throw a party member at a window 120 feet up? I'm not yeah. saying the window. I'm talking about the rope. The rope is gone. The man took it in. Well, that is a problem. Uh... Did you not watch? <sighs> yeah, I know, I know. But then I start prepping uh, another rope. You have a rope. I have How 50 many? Feet. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. How many ropes does do all of us have? I have uh, 50. Ocean. He has we 50. Need ocean as well. Okay. Okay, question, mm -hmm. question. What background does Kel have? He is a bar traveler, I believe. He is a what? Real quick. Bar traveler. He's hmm. traveled very far. He's like Jeremiah. Hmm. Can I yell at the window the word? Word. The word. The, that word? That yeah. one. That precise the one. You want to oh my god. You want what to word? Not be named. You really want to say shall not be named Tim Allen. Anyway. Tim Allen. Alright, so 
you yell it out. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. All right, the He's guy too in there far is away to hear us. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna feel like at least 20 minutes, at the very least, 20 minutes has passed since the last check-in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's been like 45 minutes. I'm Another gonna say Ocean comes from right. now, and I take Ocean's rope, I take Kel's rope, and I create 150 feet of rope. How are you going- first off, first off, no, that's not how that works. If you want to securely set the ropes, not only will it get more weak as you do that, because naturally, rope's tensile strength weakens the more knots that you put into it. Secondly, it's not 150 feet of rope. It's now going to be around 100 feet. Actually, not 100 feet. Let's see. Each rope would lose about 5 feet of length per hour. So, <gasps> eh. Wait a minute. I found... 50 plus 50 oh, plus no. 135 feet of rope. Never mind. Also, an arrow is not going to be strong enough to hold us in there. Ah, oh, but here's where the plan comes into plan. We put ours on the rope, and when the guy pulls the rope on in, voila. We trying to get in a tower. Yes. Hey, we'll quick question. Why are we going up the tower again? He just, Actually, yeah, he why just were been... we trying to get in the tower again? You just decided. You're right. You just said, uh... bro, let me get up there, and then did nothing. Like, bro, I've been, I've been standing here for two hours, man. Mm. We should leave. Waiting to understand why you've been doing this. I'm never going focus. to have that closure yeah. now. Aside from... Hey. <laughs> Oh, uh, Ryan is going to start dragging Arzer and walk away. But while he's walking away, he's just going to turn to the tower and look at it. Lord. Fucking shakes his fist at the tower. Oh, can you get fucking Christ. <laughs> Ornak will find you. Uh, I like, like how we don't question Dr. Claw being up in the fucking tower. Dr. Claw in the <laughs> tower? We aren't going to, we aren't paid enough for that. Yeah. That's also, it seems like we can't actually do it. Yeah. Probably, because we don't have any materials Maybe for Maybe we're it. not supposed to go in the tower. Maybe we're not supposed to go in the tower that you decided to fucking dig with your bare hands. Yeah, I've also lost legit all my weapons. I'm gonna go to the shop center and, like, look for a longsword. At least you have more than ten gold, sorry. I have forty-one Two gold. gold. 41 so, gold. I'd huh? like to have a Four. job. Shit. A job. You find a blacksmith, an elven blacksmith, and he is selling some sort of weaponry. I go to Anything weapon. special? Anything yeah, what special? Kind of... and... He what does some working, if you'd like. Um, well, a bunch of darts, darts. Uh, he sells some of the usual. Uh, he sells daggers, uh, made with very fine elven quality. Um, he sells sickles, uh, scimitars, short swords, uh, warhammers, and then obviously the uh, blowgun and the dart. And the shurikens, and if you want, Logan? you can get a net. So, How dude, much? That's what we... Does he How sell much? anything magical? Like, magical. Wait, wait. So, How much are the blowgun and darts? What do they do? Blowgun, it's a blowgun blow and darts. It shoots people. Cool. <laughs> I like how I'm inadvertently characterizing Kel as completely done. <laughs> so, a blowgun would bring you back around uh, 15 gold pieces. Uh, each dart would be around 2 silver pieces. And if you want to get a pack of darts, uh, 20 darts is around 1 gold piece, if you'd like. Um, 
Question. What kind of darts are they? Poison darts. They are? They That's are. perfect. Okay, so if I was going to get the blowgun and a pack of the darts, how much 16. would the total be? 16 All total. Right. So I actually have 75 gold in my inventory. Holy shit! Yeah, oh, remember when my siblings remember. were like... Oh, yeah. Remember oh, when Jesus. I reunited with my siblings? They apparently stole a bunch of money from the guards. I was so proud Shit, of them. The moment Ocean sees Kiss around, he's just nah, I'm not Kiss around. Fucking Chris around, just <laughs> he wants some fill ass pockets. Jesus Christ! All right, right on. You do you. Can I buy it? Time. It's your money. It really do be a Valentine moment. All right, Arzor? Well, I would like to. Hmm? What would you like to? Uh, okay, this blacksmith knows common, right? Yeah, just common. I'm gonna ask him, hey, got any magical long longswords? Also, know anything about the tower? Okay, so... We do not sell magical... Uh, Hey guys, out of character. I could craft a Out of character, guys. What's seventy five minus sixteen? Seventy five minus sixteen is fifty nine. Okay, thanks. Okay, it's not sixty nine. Mm. <laughs> so no magical long swords. Do you sell regular long swords? I could craft you a bit fine. Regular longsword made of steel, elven steel, and specifics. I will take a regular longsword. Alright, so I'll have it done in two days. That is okay with you. It is okay with me. We are going to leave in two days. Also, Great. speaking of, know anything about the tower? Tower. Recall Black anything one. about? Oh, that tower. Of course, it's actually meant to have the other tower. Um, it's it's it seems to encompass magic within our troops' kingdom. I tried cutting it, uh, and I heard whispers coming from it. Interesting. Uh, I never had that two happen before. The fact that I tried cutting it. Oh yes, do not try hitting. The tower. That's not a good idea. We'll get blow your weapons out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take stump of sword, puts it back in bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. Stump of sword. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway. I wonder what happens if someone were um, to punch. Them. These darts Maybe appear I to be. Well, I I assume if it's not made out of metal, like your suit of armor, I believe you're um, you're fine. So. Black Say if you were to punch it with your air. suit of armor, I'm pretty sure your suit would just uh, explode into flames, and you would be okay. Uh, what if someone name. was, I take off the mask, made of metal? Oh. Then I would not recommend punching it. I, I would not. You'd I probably die. Blacksmith, sir, these darts appear to be unpoisoned. Do you have any poison I can put on them? Yeah, so, uh, Arzor, instead of the normal 1d4 piercing damage for the dart, it's just going to be uh, 1d4 poison damage for the dart. So just change the name to poison dart. And then every time you use one, it's going to be poison damage instead of normal damage. All right, Pog. Cool. So how much did you buy, by the way, Arzor? Huh? Pack of I don't know. I gold. thought, uh... How much was it? It was one gold know. for a pack of 20. In total, so the uh, price was 16. Or how much money does the long sword have? Oh, so she got one pack of twenty. So she got one pack of twenty and one dart. Or one of them. Long sword. How much does it cost to make? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the long sword, I can charge you uh for the cost for uh, custom for a custom long sword, I should say. It's I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. I'm gonna save the money to mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. I don't know. 
becoming a very poor friend. Or anyway. a custom elven longsword of your design. Yes, how much will it cost? I said 25 gold pieces. That's ridiculous. The regular cost for a longsword is around uh, 20 to 15 gold. Well, this is a very special place. You do seem to be in need right now for a weapon. And guess what? I'm the only blacksmith in town. So, if you'd like Kel... to go into the Fey Wild. Wait, no, I sent Kel back to the monster. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Ah, if you like to ah, the Fey ah. Wild without a weapon. I'm going to roll deception. Now it's. Uh... What are you saying? I could easily get. Uh less than that and just make the long sword itself and uh, I roll with advantage with my rune and I got a 19 and an 18 well we got a 16 plus 4 so well so... <laughs> looks like you got fucked bucky boy anyway uh -huh. the thing is I have smith's tools proficiency Wait, how much does Smith Fields cost? I highly doubt you'll find a forge as well as mine that you can craft with. Mm hmm. You know what? I'll take it. 20 gold. 25 gold. 23. 25. 23. 24 and 5 silver. Uh, 24. 24 and 3 copper. Deal. Yes. Alright, what the... Ocean tries to lie his way into getting more money. Meanwhile, Robert, I'm a master of the game. <laughs> okay, let me do that math. Uh, that's 10 SP. So, okay. One gold is 100 copper pieces, therefore... No, it's not. It's 10. What? It's ten, ten each. No. Ten silver. Ten copper equals one silver. One, ten silver equals one gold. Five electron equals one gold as well. Uh, it's not too no, no, no. I used gold to think is... it was. Yeah, I used to think gold. it was like terrarium, but it's not. Yeah, so I now have nine silver and seven copper. That is correct. Okay. So, so I should have uh, any gold. specific uh, engravings into your sword you'd like? Nothing much. Though if you can if you know any enchanter that is willing to enchant for free please put a protection seal on it or something like that. Eh, I hardly doubt someone would do it for free but okay. Yes, yes. So, this is really no yes. engraving, correct? That you'd like. No engraving. Alright, I guess I can put some of my own. Okay. Great, so. Meanwhile, there's a musical happening outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Verum. What do you. Well, actually, uh, what, do, what do you guys want to do? So, Verum. What do you want to do? Okay. Well, Varen time is over. Back to Ocean. Um, wait, where are we? In the store. Alright, cool. Blacksmith. Black. Yo, it really just do be a Varen walking. Yeah. Yeah. At least I'm not being dragged anymore. Yes, I gave you the choice of, oh, hey, can you stop being dragged? In Literally <laughs> just, like, just stop being dragged. Just stop it. Like, that's all you have to do. Just stop. It's, it's all in you. <laughs> if if I were being I'm dragged, I would simply stop. No. If I were being dragged, I would simply stop being dragged. It's oh. that easy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like their faces. <laughs> was, 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 what is, what is, oh, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Uh oh, what? Oh no, don't. No. <laughs> what? It's my favorite thing in the barbecues. Yeah, my favorite activity. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So, if I sound sad, I'm not. I'm just sleepy. Fair. It's a vibe. Okay. So, uh, anything you, Farron, or you, Arzor, would like to do? Go ahead. Um, I want to see if there's a shop that sells like. Poison stuff. I want to try poisoning shit. I would like shit. to ask for the over a thousand uh, GP items, and what are they that this blacksmith has? Over a thousand gold pieces, you well, say? A less than a thousand, but yeah. Higher okay. ranking shit. I want to see if they have... I could craft you a very well-forged plate mill. Uh, it would take around... Two weeks, or Plates. ten days, I should say, to craft would... to the shipment. Um, it's a very fine uh, piece of uh, breastplate armor. I could make some splint armor. If, mm. if uh, you can make some half plate armor, and if you really, really are wealthy, I could get plate armor. For around fifteen hundred gold pieces, of course. Um, of course, it would take more than two weeks for that shipment to arrive. But I, it will be very pristine, and it'll be from the best of the Feywild. Of course, if you order that. Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. I would Definitely. like to see if there's any way that has something like a poisoner's kit. Poisoner's kit. All right. So, you want to try to find that? Yeah, sure. So, um, you look around. Oh, the end's good. All right. So, um, you look around for a shop that would sell such items. You do find a herbalism store selling things like incense, uh, healer's kit, herbalism's kit. And, where is it? That sells poison, if you'd like. Mm. Um, ah, yes, finally, the perfect beverage. I'm just joking. Definitely. Definitely. Anyway. So. Um. Yeah. Oh, also, I should say, they also do sell Poisoner's Kit, uh, but they are quite expensive. 50 gold pieces, actually. Uh, how much is the poison? The vial of poison is... 100 gold pieces. Oh, that's even more expensive. It is. I am gonna get the, the kit then, because I have 50 gold pieces. Alright. Fair enough. Um, so they will sell to you for fifty gold pieces. Um, the poisoner's kit includes uh, vials, uh, chemicals, and other equipment necessary for the creation of poisons. Mm -hmm. um, if you have proficiency in it, which I don't think you do, uh, you can add your proficiency bonus. Uh, but other than that, oh. it is uh, just a straight D twenty. Yeah, unless you have proficiency, of course. Man. And I thought you could, like, make your own or something, like a DIY. Then what yeah. does this do, then? You can make poison. Oh, I make can make it? Thing. Yeah, that's what I said. Cool. But you, it's a flat beat one. That's since you don't have to so. That's alright. <laughs> anyway, I bought that for 50 GP. <laughs> alright, shit, okay. All right, so... Anything else? Okay, is there anything else in the general area? Or is that it? Such as what?
Probably nothing. Anyway. Yeah, oh, you guys heard that? Heard what? That's what I thought. Anyway. Anyway. I started blasting. <laughs> Everyone in the town is dead. Why are you laughing? Anyway. Da -da -da -da. Damn, they really need a whole lot of staffs. Alright, shit. I've got a fun new spice that I can serve to the enemies, to the haters, if you will. I guess today's been all right. Mm hmm. Aside from the whole dead mom thing. Just going to push that down deep, deep down. Don't worry, I can relate. Gaming. Gaming. Oh, where's DM? I don't Gamer. know. I turned away for DM a second. Gun. Oh, uh, his phone died. Speaking, I actually don't need to check the fucking. All right. So, does anybody want to hear some uh, deep lore? Sure. Uh, ours is a fanboy. No. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. I believe that. Right. So basically, to be romanced. Anyway. Hmm. Totally. I completely forgot. Anyway. <laughs> I destroyed your line of thought. Be a uh, mind. So, anyone want to learn about College of Eloquence? It was. I... Me. Kind of want to make uh, a bard for that when I die, but we also want more Marvel bad. characters. Actually, wait, no. Once I die, hmm. hmm. Okay, I have a plan to become a bard, okay? So, Okay. you could go fighter. Whichever one of us dies first gets it. Anyway. No, 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 no. So basically. I want to be bard really badly because, uh... Right, so basically... Arthur's family life kind of complicated. Parents separated. Arthur's mom left town, never to see him again, and kind of busy all the time. Daddy's issues. So his mom oh, no. left town, never to be seen again. I see. No, like they As left just the said. town that they were from, the human city. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. And never saw. So yeah, never saw again. And this obviously diverges mm -hmm. slightly from other things. So what? But that is the basis. Oh, and basically, because of that kind of <laughs> distant relationship, is wow. wasn't exactly a one to one. Oh man, you know what? <laughs> we just totally love each other. Always express it. So that's why it's just like kind of <laughs> complicated. And that is the deep lore for Arthur's mom. Mm -hmm. It's complicated, is basically all I can articulate. All right. And it's not like any kind of mm -hmm. deep thing or whatever, just normal complications. Mm -hmm. Normal, complicated family life. Holy shit. Long swords are good, alright. Yeah. 
It's not unusual. To be loved by anyone. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to... Uh, right. How's the rest of that go? How that shit go? Mm -hmm. So, uh, everyone else, what do you want to do? Anything else you'd like to do, or would you like to meet up, or what? What do you guys want? Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Up. Who wants to meet up? Real quick, yeah. as he's passing by, due to, like, getting fucking smacked with a displacer beast for just being in a mild vicinity of it, considering they're not, like, in any case where they won't fucking... Like, they're not chained up in a safe location, since all he did was, like, crouch a fair distance away, and then just... Pfft. He's gonna walk over to that merch and just go, okay. Your boys fucking slapped me. And they're not really tied up in any safe way. Could you just, like, imburse me for, like... I don't know. Like, one gold coin? Maybe, like, five silver? Something? I'll get in front of you. The fact that your fucking cats beat my ass into Sunday? Why would I pay you for being stupid? First off, I crouched down a decent distance away. Your cats are in a position where they can... I'm hmm. pretty sure you can see that it has tentacles. Yes. Correct? You can see you're not blind, correct? So why yes. would I pay you... For getting near a rabid creature. Why that do you have tentacles? rabid creatures in a, di in a way that they can easily attack anything near them on the street? Uh, in order to sell? I look over, I see the kitty. Saw, Why are you selling someone... rabid creatures that are I look untrained? over, I see a kitty. I say, hi kitty. So, Especially considering why... the fact... What? Okay, okay. Look. Answer a number of my questions here, because I'm deeply confused. Why do you have rabid creatures, one, for sale, because rabid sale. creatures are not as easily used in a number of cases. Two, why are they not properly contained instead of just tied up with ropes? Because that's not safe in any way, especially in terms of children, in terms of anything. Especially considering well, you don't have any kind of restraints on their fucking tentacles that they can up. clearly hit with as displaced. Or displayed. Ultimately... Well, your workmanship here is shoddy. If you want to know how to fucking handle this shit, I could tell you. I can talk to these fuckers. Druid shit well, is pretty nice. However, clearly you have failed to maintain a proper store. For these they enjoy your place, and guess what? If someone were to see you getting slapped by one of my creatures, they would pay highly for one of them. No, they wouldn't. Especially you wore... Really, because a I just guard dog is only right useful if left. it doesn't eat the owner. I got a sale right after you left. So I, I nice. Lie. Good steal. You, actually, no. Uh, one of the displays for beasts are gone. So he, he he looks at you. I am not paying for your foolishness. Get out of my face and my merchants' corner. Alright, chat, alright. Fuck it. As as you leave, you see him, like, scratch the, uh, chin of one of the Splitter Beasts, it's kind of, like, curling up. Rabid Beasts, that's how that works, uh-huh, that's what one is, oh well. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh well. All I right, guess so, I'll just return to the monastery by that point. It looks feral. Mm -hmm. I can relate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you return to the monastery. Varum and Arzor, what would you guys like to do? Hmm, I don't know. Varum? Varum, Varum yes. Varum, what would you like to do? Uh... You have, you have gotten an appointment to get a longsword in two days. And what else would you like to do? Or would you like to head back to the monastery with uh, Ocean? Head back to the monastery with Ocean. Alright. So, are you following Arzor? Or what do you do? 
Um, I want to follow Ocean. Okay. You all head into a uh, monastery made for multiple elven gods. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so you, so it has multiple rooms for guests to stay in. Uh, most of them are empty because people chose to go sleep in other people's houses. Uh, but some rooms are taken by people. Mm -hmm. um, Ocean, you enter with Jeremiah. You both kind of look around. It's a very bright, lit up place. It has multiple uh, ceramic windows. Um, you enter, and then suddenly, a couple uh, seconds as you are taking like a little look at the insides, you hear Ocean, Arzor, and uh, Kel arrive at the monastery. Or temple, I should say. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 well. Ocean, how you doing? I lost my sword. I got smacked in the face by a random cat, almost died, asked for a small embarrassment due to the fact that their cat was not properly regulated in any way. And then somehow, me getting smacked in the face got him a sale. Hi, how was your day? I bought spicy water. <laughs> That's painful. Did you at least get your reimbursement? No. Because apparently it was foolish to walk a safe distance away from the cats and then kneel down and attempt to talk to them. Due to the fact I can literally talk to animals. Oh yeah, I saw a kitty. Hey, Arza, you should Did it smack you? Mine smacked me. You know, I feel as if that's because the kitty just saw you, you as a threat. Why? Hmm, yes, the Arza. forbidden kitty. Arza... You're good with animals, right? Kind of. Mm -hmm. You should go pet the cat. <laughs> now, does Arthur make the logical conclusion I shouldn't pet the cat or the better answer, pet cat? <laughs> All of my I mean, logical... That's long, long, long. All of the logical cells in my brain say no, but about 99% of it says kitty. Yes. Well, you heard the brain. <laughs> Can I go so, up to it and try to pet it? <laughs> it's gone by now. I mean, you saw it like oh. minutes ago. So. Kitty, gone. <laughs> Yo, Sad I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand to see if I could take Arza's hair out of yeah. camera. <laughs> Do I start steal Arza's do? How? Oh, on my head? It's not a wig, it's attached. And? <laughs> oh, it's oh, about to get snatched either way. Yo, out of character, I just did that as a joke. Uh, roll the nat 20. Arzur, your hair is gone. It is gone. <laughs> You're bald now. Bald Ar- Oh no, bald Arzor is cursed. I don't like and what you now, Varum has Arzur's hair. Oh no. Now, no. we're gonna retcon well, that. That, that never happened. Like? That mm. never happened, bro. Okay, so, let's continue, because we are a couple hours in, so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... so. We have the small dungeon thingy they wanted done. I was tuned out during that, too tired. What were they saying? So, uh, there is a, uh, a little ruins outside of town mm -hmm. um, that he has explored a bit and has gotten some information on the symbols that are located in there, including one that's similar to Verum's. And since, uh, you know, he wants a favor from you, um, he takes, he tells you that, okay, you can do this favor, look at these ruins, find something inside there, bring it back to me, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, okay. for some sort of proof in order to, uh, in order, in order for you, uh, or in, uh, for, in order for people to stay at this village. You know, mm -hmm. What? I kind of tuned out. Hmm. We have okay. to go dungeon, or else. Yeah, pretty or much. Or else what? Die. I don't know, probably death. 
Yeah, sure, why not? Well, right, so, are you guys taking a long rest, or...? Let's take a long rest. Alright, um, so... Ocean and Jeremiah, who wants the, uh, beads of, uh, prayer? Only particularly follow... Not even particularly follow, I don't really particularly follow any gods. Yeah, like, so they I exist, think. and I'll give them the respect, but, like, I don't... You instead worship old, pagan gods known as nature. You... To be fair, mm -hmm. I can see that shit wherever I go. The other ones, I don't know. Anyway. How about you worship the even older god, the eldritch gods? That's called a warlock. You could, uh, you could do saloon if you'd like. I worship... Is. Uh, um, okay, so let me roll the colors of the. Oh, write this down. Write this down in notes. So, the first one. Okay, so who's the two? So Jeremiah's tuning into it, right? Um. Well, it's based in gods, which means I'm not sure I could really particularly attune. At the same time, he already has a lot of shit. He, everyone he has else nothing. has a lot of sh Yeah, he's, but he he's also has nuke shit. abilities. I do not. I do Yo, not have any damage like, spells currently. I think capable. I know what you're going through. It's the uh, druid uh, gameplay of I think I'm useless. No, no, no. It's not that. I know I can have a use, but currently I need to fucking re-prepare my spells for the day, and since we're taking a long rest to take it, we're gonna sleep in for the night and wake up? Yeah, or what? We're going to take a long rest, and... Are we ending the session there? Like that, during that long rest, some, one of you attends to us. So, who wants to do it? I think I will. I will okay. as well. I think everyone will. The it's what? <laughs> necklace. I don't think that's possible, but okay. Can't you attune over long rest? Yeah, you can. Cool, so. Let's roll this, shall we? So I got a nine on the first one. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have a green one of the far right one is a green uh gem shaped like a hand. Uh, this is the bead of curing, <coughs> uh, which can cast cure wounds second level or lesser restoration, whichever one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So write this all down because I'm not gonna remember it. Sorry. It has curing and what? Well, yeah, I got it. I have, yeah, I'm gonna add to the inventory once I'm done. Actually, I'm just gonna add it now and then. So, Look beat of curing. Particular. Next, I got an eleven. That is another beat of curing. Next, mm -hmm. that is a fifteen, which is a favor, which is a uh, is a red gem. Mm -hmm. uh, that can cast greater restoration. So you have less restoration and you have greater restoration. Mm -hmm. Next. Yo, true resurrection? Huh? huh? Greater restoration. Uh, next we have uh, the smiting. The, it's a yellow. Uh, mm -hmm. a yellow gem. It, it can cast branding smite, which is, I believe, a bonus action. Which gives you extra damage. So, uh, oh. real quick, just to look over it again, it is two, two curing, curing one, favor. one favor, and one smiting, okay. Yep, that is four so far. This one is, that is a five, so you can cast Bless, Blessing, the Beat of Blessing. Okay. All right. All right. And the last one. <laughs> Okay. So. Hey, quick question. Out of all of the people who decided to stay, who is in that group of people? Uh, it, such as, like, it's like, I said, like, 75% of the people wanted to stay. Um, mm -hmm. We rolled 75% of the people want to stay, including your brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. 
Bye bye, family. What? Don't worry about it. All right. All right. Anyway, so what are we rolling for? Nothing. I'm wrong. Beads. Eighteen. No. Okay. Looks like we get you the bead of summons. Fuck yeah! Bead of summons, more like bead of. I am shot before I can say my next word. All right, which can let you cast Planar Ally, which is a really uh, kind of overpowered spell. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Beat of Summons, more like Beat of Cummins. Six level. What the fuck? Okay. You're welcome. You are welcome. Okay. So, I think you have it into it, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Overnight, and now <laughs> you like you all wake up in your own individual rooms as the fey sun starts to shimmer through the windows, causing speckles of this glittery air to light up a bit. How pretty. I'm going to, like... Right. As I wake up, I'm going to go, like, knock on Erzor's and, uh, Robert's door, and, like, come to them. Robert okay. is not here. He is, like, gone. Not Robert, sorry. Um, Hello. Uh, I have been Baron doing Zor. things. And I'm going to... Actually, I'm not on a long rest. I should have recovered the rest of my health, yeah? Yep. Okay. Um, and I... am going to... Ask at them, like, what do you think I should attune for my spells currently, or just prepare? Because well, first I thing, I go up, and I'm like, good morning! I have been doing yeah. actions, morning. and morning. as for okay. what you would like to do to tune up, what exactly are you talking about? You're very concerning right now. I'm going to have you know, but in terms of tuning, I mean my spells. Mm. Speaking of which, he just... He well, remember, and then he just... You notice him what close, if, close his eyes for a second, and immediately... A spider, mage armor recasts. You want to cast mage armor? Yeah. Okay. What if... Instead of you turning into a spider, you turned into a bigger spider. That's okay, cool. so... not a spell, but okay. Um, well, so... I don't know about magic. Your class is now 17 as the... As the mage armor summons upon you. <sighs> cool! Okay. Um... You want to customize your uh, little... Uh... Mage armor, what do you want it to look like? It can look um, like normal clothes, it can be spectral, however you want it. The, hmm. It could I be straight up how you use uniform. I think the way that it works for Ocean is the, uh, the brown flare of glyphs is the mage armor, typically, and it just gains like a little burst of energy, a little bit of a uh, green light emerging from uh, below it. And okay. when it comes to the other pair of glyphs, that's what activates in any kind of time where he's, like, fucking casting Absorb Elements or stuff like that. Okay. Let's... So, you have your regular room. And then... Hmm. Um, okay. What do you guys want to do? Oh, oh yeah. Spell? So, uh, yeah. So... What do I recommend? Yeah, I think the flame sword is pretty good as well. So. Yeah, the flame. I think I'm going to keep the flame sword. Um, I'm probably going to keep Pass Without Trace because it's damn near invisibility, and I need to work on keeping it more. Um, you also need to face more uh, damage spells. Dude. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think I could take off my good berry, hmm. maybe, or. Um, 
I know you like Question. elements. Yeah, I don't so, want to. Question, guys. Um, be able to absorb elements and take around, I want to say, half as much damage as I would. Or be able to have good berry where I can just, like, the moment I prepare this, snap my fingers and we all have, like, let's see, it's ten berries at any one time, so that means all of us can get three, and then, because I'm the caster, I'll take one, since I also have healing spells. Do we really need that one HP heal? I mean, it's not bad. What, are are we supposed to pop it into our mouth before a dragon attacks us so that once we go down, we have one HP? I mean, <laughs> once you go down and you have very little health left, you could always just pop it in your mouth instead of rushing in and dying again, you know? I have to think one HP ain't gonna help that much. Yeah. Unless, the, the sad thing is it takes one action to eat a single berry, though, so... Yeah. And being it's unconscious makes sense. It's that like impossible. that one post where you're like... Mm -hmm. Asterisk eats a berry. Asterisk. Asterisk eats a berry. Asterisk. Asterisk eats a berry. Asterisk. I think I'll probably go with Thunder Wave. Sounds good, Bill. Poggin. So, anything else you'd like to do in the monastery, and then where mm. would you like to head to? Very cool. You can use Thunder Wave like a Pokemon. Else. Hmm. What else do I have? I can't use any more cantrips, sadly, as much as I love them. Um, ah, my phone went from 35 to... From good old... 35 to 15. We're gonna have Cure to Wounds is a must, and in terms... What bonus actions do I have in order to spell? Because it's just Healing Word. Hmm. Hmm. I need to go soon. Can we end the session soon? We can end it right now. Do you guys want to play on Wednesday as well? Because that would work. So then we that, that yeah, sounds okay. good to me, actually. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, same time ish. Sure. Let me do the math. So, there we are in the monastery. End credits. Not yeah. end credits. I can't figure out what the other word is. Whatever. End credits. Roll credits? Maybe? On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It's, says it's, been, it's been nice to not have a session <laughs> where we almost fucking die, you know? Right? Except that for that one time I got nice smacked break. by a random fucking salesman for no reason. So that was nice. A nice oh. break. It was just kind of everybody else vibing and ours are just being sad and then ours are just...